Hello everybody and welcome to another Tech Minute video. My name is Tom from Six Foot Networks. Thank you for joining me in the lab today. So I had a recent event happen with one of my friends uh, where um, they got nailed for something that they may or may not have done on a work issued computer. Now I've talked about work issued computers and the expectation that there is no privacy and that, you know, that translation really needs to come down further than just the work computer. So these are work computers, right? This is, these are the computers that I issue my employees. And essentially when I hand these over to an employee, I make them sign a document that they understand that nothing personal will ever happen on this computer for many reasons. One, I don't want to be responsible for any confidential data sets that they may or may not be accessing or storing on this computer. You know, I don't want their banking information traversing my network. Why? Why would I want that? So I approach security from a different standpoint as an employer as well as a security professional. And that is that I don't want to even know that it's happening on my network. I will block those subnets from being able to access common banking sites, common financial or even social media, all of that stuff, I just want it blocked. And here's the reason for that. It's not that I'm trying to stop people from, you know, having a personal life while at work. I understand that there's a human element. I understand that there's, uh, you know, break time, lunch time, whatever, that you might want to watch a YouTube video or you might want to watch uh, something on social media, TikTok, Facebook, whatever. You know, I Instagram, I'm on Facebook, I do TikTok, but I do it all on, on my own stuff. So my phone that's connected to cellular, my devices that are not touching even my own company's network. And I try to practice what I preach. And here's how I do that. Personal computer, work computer. First things first, these are not the same. Okay, there's a reason why I have two computers and I do, I have many computers, I have many devices. The point is, is that when I put on my professional hat, I use one device. When I put on my personal hat, I have my iPad, my phone, my other laptop, whatever I want to do. If I'm doing personal stuff, that's where I go. Anything that can be done on a work laptop can be done on another laptop. And, and here's why. You know, besides what I already mentioned, not all employers are, you know, completely upfront with what they do with their data. You know, they might log it, they might process it, they might do something with it. I personally had an issue a few years ago, uh, probably about 10 years ago now, where me going on LinkedIn on their guest network from my personal device, I apparently gave them enough information to for them to then go on LinkedIn, look at my profile and find out that I made myself available for new opportunities. And that caused a, a hoopla with my whole situation. And it essentially just made a, a situation, uh, it made for a very bad situation that I didn't really necessarily feel was called for from the employer's side. Um, but use that example as an example, because if you do something on your on your work laptop and they log it, well, that's on you because you've probably signed a acceptable use policy that says, you know, this is what this computer is for. We will be logging you. We will be, you know, checking your keystrokes or whatever. Anything's possible these days. But keep in mind, my situation happened from a personal device on their guest network. So essentially what that meant was I took my personal device, whether it was this laptop, it wasn't this laptop because it was 10 years ago, but whether it was a laptop, whether it was uh, an iOS device or something else, I gave them enough information to leave a trail of breadcrumbs behind for them to then say, hey, we found out that you were looking on LinkedIn for a new job. And, you know, how is that affecting you here? Is that a problem? Are we going to have a problem? 
do we need to terminate you that kind of stuff and it 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 really was just a barrage of um i guess unfortunate circumstances that led to that because yes i was looking but at the same time no i didn't want to lose my job no i didn't you know wanted to interfere with my work i had just taken a break i was on lunch or whatever i had updated my profile on linkedin and that was all they needed and i did it all on the guest network which i assumed wasn't open for scrutiny but i guess now that i look back on it you know 10 years later or more it's like oh okay i get it here's my advice to you don't mix personal and professional get yourself a second computer especially if you do banking especially if you do you know lots of social media things that could be taken the wrong way with your employers so you know make sure you keep separate devices you know for <laughs> whatever you're doing that's number 1 number 2 don't use company resources whatsoever and that includes guest networks that includes any devices that are assigned to you um, anything that might have you know a property tag or something that's covered under their terms of service or their general acceptance policy uh, for use because any of that can be used against you um, my best advice is everybody has a cell phone in their pocket I, I, if I had to guess, I'd say 95% of the world had smartphones in their pocket. And with all of the service providers now doing unlimited minutes and most of them doing unlimited data with some uh, threshold caps and whatnot in place, you can tie you know, your personal laptop to a cellular hotspot and use that. So if you're in a, say, say you're on lunch and you're out in a courtyard or whatever, or in a in a cafeteria or something and you're doing your own thing and you want to be safe and essentially give yourself some immunity from some of the fallout that can happen, tie that computer to your personal cell phone's hotspot. That'll give you internet connectivity, um, it'll disconnect you from the company around you and you'll be able to do whatever you need to do without uh, potential blowbacks. Anything you do on your company computer can um, I mean, can and ultimately will be used against you outside of the court of law because they can. You know, employers are all about finding uh, bits and details about their employees to either give them a reason for termination or demote them or give them less money. I mean, the internet is filled with stories, but the two examples that I gave you, the one about my friend, uh, you know, who did some, uh, some stuff. Um, okay. I'll, st I'll say what it was. He did crypto mining on his laptop. And, uh, when he opened it up, it connected to their network and the mining resumed and he didn't catch it because it was in the background and he did some emails or something, closed it up and then put it back in his bag, went back to work or whatever. And then, um, a few days later, right with me it was i use my personal devices on their guest network which i guess to log into that network they needed you know information you know that they were able to then scrutinize and they found out oh it was tom and he did it here or whatever you know there is no limit to what can be done so just keep that in mind i don't want to make this a, a 20 minute video but you know Practice security-mindedness. That's what, you know, the whole moral of this story is. Because you never know what can come out of a, a, you know, routinely innocent situation. Whatever it is. Whether you're checking your email, whether you're checking your stocks, whether you're doing finances, whether you're doing some social media, or you're hitting like on somebody's puppy pictures, or, or whatever it is. There could be blowback. And something innocent can be taken out of context. And then you have the oh damn moment where you're like, oh my God, why did I do that? And then you're kicking yourself. But to boil it down, if you use your head and you separate personal from work, and that really goes for everything. You know, I'm, I've always touted that I have one cell phone for business and personal 
because cell phones are, you know, I don't want to have to carry two cell phones. That may be right, that may be wrong, but I don't carry a work phone. So therefore my company has nothing that they can say about the way I use my personal phone. I use my personal phone for everything. It's not like I have just a work phone and I use it for personal reasons. I would never do that. I have a personal phone and that's it. Um, computers, I have tons of them, same reason. Work, no problem. Personal, no problem. I don't mix the two and neither should you. So I hope you find this video helpful. Uh, if, you, if you like it, please give us a thumbs up. If you really, really like this video, which I hope you do, you'll consider subscribing to our channel. Please, it really does help us make more content like this for you and post it every day. In the meantime, good luck. If you have any questions or concerns, please feel free to leave us a comment down below. We'll be sure to answer. In the meantime, good luck and thank you for watching.